Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky. Today we're going to do a 12 by 12 layout. See that layout right there that says Children of the Corn? That is a layout that Kathy did. Now I don't have a photo of it, but I am essentially going to scrap lift her. This is when we were at a hotel in Illinois. So you can see the lighting is a little bit different than what you might normally see. And actually, I am going to have to tell you because I did get a comment but the lighting is probably going to be a little different than what it used to be anyway, because I am in a different area. Right now I'm out in the dining room. Uh, I filled this up a little bit with stuff, so hopefully the echo's not as bad. It still might be because I don't have anything hanging on the walls as of yet. But yes, it is going to be a little bit different because this is where I'm scrapbooking at the present time. So um, even going forward, the lighting is going to be a little bit different. So you can see right here, I am just using strips. That's what she did. And she had ripped them off. So I am doing the same thing. Now I tried to keep to more boyish type colors, if you will, because I am going to be scrapbooking two photos of my grandson Riker on this one. That little boy, poor little thing, he doesn't get as much attention from me as he should. I know it's just a Riley Right now, she's two, and that's like one of my favorite ages, like two to five maybe is like my favorite. Now, Riker will be one in, next month, so I mean, he's he's gaining on her. <laughs> he's gaining on her, and I, that's not very fair, and I'm aware of that, but uh, two-year-olds are just so much fun. Now, even him, Riker, being less than a year old, he's still a lot of fun. It's just different. I, I feel a little bad because, yeah, sister gets a lot more attention than he does from granny. That's terrible. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to work on that. So I am going to go ahead and trim up the photos to be the same size. They're about three by four ish. Now you did see that all those paper strips that I put across there, they are ripped. Now a lot of those papers do come from a paper pad called Again and Again by Pink Paisley. Some of the papers were scraps left over still from a one canoe two line. I had these um, in a uh, like a plastic bag. I had a bunch of papers and embellishments and things in a plastic bag. That's what I used when I went on this uh, little meetup with Kathy. But I also did put a couple paper pads in my bag as well that I thought might look okay with what I had already bagged up. And this again and again paper pad it did come into play quite a bit on this um, little scrapbook session we had going. We only did five pages, which is not good, <laughs> but we did a lot of bonding and that is amazing. So there you go. I am going to be using two, or no, not two, four of these uh, wood veneer arrows. These are actually from close to my heart, and they are now available anytime. I think they're in the main catalog now. And then I'm also going to be pulling off some word phrases from both, I do believe, the uh, One Canoe 2 sticker sheet, and also from... Um, Heidi Swap, one of her newer collections, one of her sticker sheets. It's the one I have in my hand right there. You can see labels and such. But one of them says, enjoy this moment. One says, sweet memories. And one says, simple pleasures. I did also pull this simple and sweet out. I was going to use that peach that said, you're peachy. I don't remember what it said. But instead, I found this um, sweet and simple sticker, which looked really cute. But I wanted some more wood veneer, right? Because I had those um, arrows in there already. But I did find this giant wood veneer mason jar. I said, oh, that's perfect to set my title on. And then I get to carry through the wood veneer. So I was really happy to get that used. I don't know where that's from. I just know I've had it for quite some time. Uh, yeah, I think it uh, was actually quite perfect on this one. So I do use some Maggie Holmes stars as well. Actually, I don't use them. I put them down, they're copper, and like um, the sweet memories, enjoy this moment, and simple pleasures are all rose gold, and the sweet and simple is gold. Well, the stars I put down are copper. I end up taking those stars off. Now, all of those word phrases that I put down, I am going to pop those up with some little pop dots from 
mm, 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 close to my heart. It's, it's the small circle ones. I just put one on each end and one in the center of each of those and put them down like this. And when I finish off my layout, I'm going to go with these uh, gold hearts. Now these gold hearts you've seen me use for years probably because they're almost always in Tuesday morning. I believe they are a Maggie Holmes. Uh, they're kind of um, muted a little bit, but I always see them when I go into Tuesday morning, which now granted, I don't go into Tuesday morning very often, but I almost always see them and I almost always pick up a pack. So I've got like, I don't know, four packs of these that <laughs> I um, probably need to use, which is not hard because they are amazing and I love them. I am going to finish this off with some splutters by Heidi Swap. It's a Heidi Swap color shine in gold. And stay tuned because I did have a previous video where I was giving away a stamp set. And I am going to go through those comments and go ahead and give that away at the end of this video. I'm also going to put some still photos now. Um, it is dark early, so they're kind of iffy photos. So eh, it's okay. All right, guys. Love you. Bye. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Becky, and we just wrapped up our voiceover with this cute little layout with my grandson, Riker, on it. Super cute. Yes. And I also wanted to pick the, the um, giveaway for this stamp right here. Um, actually, I had so many responses i think there was 43 i'm gonna need to know that 45 45 so i have a copy myself so i'm gonna give both of them away i can pick up another another one so don't worry about that it's fine i have plenty of stamps anyways so i did have a lot of responses and comments and i'm gonna let you guys know for the most part <laughs> These comments are so sweet. And I these are actually gonna make their way into my um, album. Yes, I'm gonna put them in eight eight by eight, or eight by eight, no ma'am. Eight and a half by 11 sheet protectors and throw them in there around this um, time. These are just super, super, super sweet. I love, love, love everything on here. So, we just wrapped this up. We're gonna go ahead and wrap up our giveaway because I didn't do it. So it's gonna be one through 45. One through 45. And we're gonna do two instead of just one this time. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and give the other one away as well. Just because I had so many responses. So number nine. Who is number nine? Nine. Diane Karn. Yes, Diane. I will make a comment on your um, reply. Everything else I have not made a reply on. Actually, I was going to just reply to you guys on here, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Let's see. The next one is number 30. So let's see who number 30 was. Just know if you left me a message, I did read them clearly because I numbered all of them and they are going in my scrapbook. So <laughs> there you go. Number 30. Who's number 30? Polly. Lang is it Langja or is it Langa? Nelia. I don't know, but I love the name Polly. So there you go. Uh, number 30 is Polly. So I will leave these two ladies or men. I don't know. I don't know who they are. Um, I'll leave them a reply. I mean, it could be a guy going by Polly and a guy going by, what was the other winner? I have a bad memory, guys. Diane. I mean, it could be a guy going by Diane and Polly. You never know. Um, yes, I will leave them a uh, message on the original video telling them they won and to um, go ahead and send me their information. Now on here, I told you I wasn't going to really do a slow it down, but on here, let me show you. These right here are all from the One Canoe 2, and all these arrows are from Close to My Heart. You can find them over at BeckyBitty.ClosetoMyHeart.com. We are selling these arrows now. 
This one you can see is a little lighter. I should have flipped it on the other side so it would correspond with these because each side, one side is darker and one side is lighter. But this one I left on the light side. I don't know why I did that, but I did. This is also from the One Canoe 2, and I don't know where this mason jar is from. I have no idea. Now, I did scrap lift Kathy Feigl on this when we met up in Illinois. We rented a hotel room <laughs> together and just scrapbooked, and this is one that she did, which you saw at the beginning of the video. There's one I slowed down. It says, Children of the Corn. I don't have a photo of it. I guess I could have done a screenshot and like put it up in the side, but I didn't. This right here, it looks like a one canoe, two paper, and this, I do believe, is a Maggie Holmes paper, the wood grain, which I wasted this much of it. Oh, I love wood, so that's kind of weird that I wasted all that. Let's see, the back of this one right here, yes, this is also a one canoe, two, and I think this and this are out of this again and again paper pad. You can see we have this here, and then this one is not actually displayed, but I do believe it's in here. I could be lying. Let's see. It looks like I might be lying. Let's see what's on the back of it. Let's see. No, it's a white paper, so yes, this has to come out of a paper pad. I'm going to assume it's this one. Maybe I took both of the papers out. Who knows? No clue. I think it's from this again and again. I could be wrong. So when I was gone, I did just use a Tombow Mono Small Adhesive because I forgot my ATG gun. And that, that seemed to work pretty good on this. Um, here, I just put it down on there here. These, I use little foam knots underneath them. Little foam knots from Close to My Heart. Again, you can go to beckybidding.closetomyheart.com. And then these little hearts are from Maggie Holmes. I picked a whole bunch of these up from Tuesday morning. Every time I go in, they have them. And I love them, so why not, right? Yeah, after that, I don't know. Um, this paper right here that I put underneath this photo, this. Um, it's ripped because these are all ripped so I did rip some of this too this is a Maggie Holmes and I'm not sure what the first paper was that I put down and I glued it down really good so there is a backside to it so um, probably it would be a one canoe too if I had to guess and then I finished it off with some Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. I love it. Now I totally forgot to bring my Heidi Swap Color Shine to that um, our little meetup thing that Kathy and I had, which actually was more of a gal pal retreat or friends getting away, whatever. We did a lot of talking and not so much scrapbooking. It was so much fun. And Becky's soul needed it. So yes. All right, guys, I wanna thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't had the chance to go check out Kathy, I do think she is going to be sharing her original layout if she hasn't done that yet. I do think that she is gonna be sharing the original layout sometime soon. So I will link her down below as well as my normal links. Um, you can go over to Close to My Heart and pick up some you know, arrows or whatever you want just to support my channel if you want. Don't feel pressured. If you want, you can go over there and pick up some stuff. Um, I'm also going to leave Kathy's link down below as well. And you can see this background paper. This is actually the French vanilla from Close to My Heart, which I absolutely love the French vanilla. It's not quite white daisy. It's, um, you know, more of a vanilla, which I love. That I pulled this out because most of these have um, more of a creamy tone. This one is more white, but for the most part, these papers have more of a creamy tone. So yeah, that's why I wanted to use French vanilla instead of White Daisy. I do like the White Daisy too. It, um, the White Daisy and the French vanilla are perfect for stamping, which I did none of on this layout, but it's just quick and easy and I absolutely love it. All right, guys, I wanna thank you so much for joining me. Congratulations to the winners. And I, if as soon as you get me your um, addresses, I will get out your stamps. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.